The knapsack optimization problem is to find which values we're going to be putting into our pack. Now this pack has a weight limit of 14. So each of these items has a different weight of those. And we're going to choose whether we include that. We'll put a 1 there or not include it. We'll put a 0 there. Okay, so we're going to select all of the items that we want to be able to put in that pack with the weight less than 14. Now there's a value of that item as well. So we want to try to get as much value into that pack as possible while staying below the weight limit. Now there are two different ways at least that you could solve this. One is just with a greedy algorithm that just looks at the ratio of the two and selects the highest one first until you fill up the pack. Another way that we're going to be looking at is with mixed integer or integer programming. And this is going to be a mathematical optimization to express these constraints and the objective and then be able to solve it with a mixed integer linear programming solver. So let's go ahead and start with the very first method. And this is just going to be the greedy algorithm. So if I look at the value divided by weight, okay, so in this case, 11 divided by 3 is 3.66. And then if I look at, uh, you know, each of these, I just take the highest value per weight. Okay, so that's 3.66. This is 1.6. 3 divided by 7 is 0 0.43. And then 6 divided by 4 is 1.5. So the greedy algorithm would then select the highest one first. Okay, so there's my first, my highest ratio. And the weight is going to be equal to 3. All right, the next one. The next one's going to be the hammer. So I would include that. Okay, so I'm going to include that in my pack change that to a 1 and the weight is going to be 5 so we're at a total of 8 right now well, let's keep going I the next one is a screwdriver and the weight on that one is going to be 4 so now I have 9 plus 3 that's 12 for my weight and that is under my limit of 14 now I can't include this final one Okay, so I'm going to include a 1 there and a 0 there. So we can't include the wrench because we're over the weight limit and it has the lowest 1 in terms of the value per weight. Now, uh, this is a, a common algorithm that we use for other programs as well. So this is a simple knapsack optimization, but we also use this for things like uh, set covering for photogrammetry where we're trying to determine where are the number, minimum number of photos that we can take to be able to reconstruct a scene to high accuracy. So this is an earthquake in Japan, and our team went over there and was able to optimize the number of photos they took to be able to process this model, for example. Okay, so this, this type of greedy algorithm or um, is used in many places. Uh, sometimes we don't get the best result from that, though. The better result is going to be potentially through mixed integer programming to be able to find an optimal solution, not just a heuristic solution, okay, like the greedy algorithm, but an optimized one. So what we're going to do is set this up as a mixed integer programming problem and just express it with constraints and with an objective. So let's uh, set this up as we're going to maximize, okay, the summation from i equals 1 to the number of items that we have. And we're going to take the value of item i multiplied by xi. Now xi can either be a 0 or a 1. That's going to be our decision variable. We're going to call this a binary variable for optimization all right and then we're going to be subject to and this is going to be summation of all of our weights okay 
the weight of i times x of i, again, that's our binary variable, has got to be less than or equal to the weight limit. In this case, it's going to be 14. All right, and I'll just write down that i is all is in the set of 0 to 1. Okay, so this right here is a mathematical expression of an optimization problem. But let's set this up and solve it with Python. Okay, and I'll go ahead and just open up okay, a script here. And this one is going to be solved with Gecko with a mixed integer uh, nonlinear programming solver. We're going to have towel, hammer, wrench, and screwdriver. And there are the values of those. Okay, so let me go ahead and just bring this up again. Okay, so there are the values. Okay, 11, 8, 3, and 6. And then we have the weights of each of those as well. Now, here are our items. I'm going to just get a length of those. I'll create my gecko model. All right, and then define my variables. In this case, I need to define binary variables. So I'll create an array of four values, and I'll have a lower bound of zero and an upper bound of one. The final thing that I need to do here is just say the integer equals true. So it restricts it just to zero and one. All right, here's my objective function. I'm going to maximize the sum of the value times x, where x is 0 or 1, for all of my items. All right, and then here's a constraint. I'm going to have a limit of 14, and then set this summation of all of my weights times the zeros or ones for all of my items. And that has to be less than 14 for my limit. Okay, I'm going to optimize with the AP Opt solver and then solve it. And the final thing that I need to do is just report the solution and then also the objective value. Okay, so this is my optimization problem. I'm going to solve it now with Python and I'll just run this script. Okay, so here is the solution of a different one. Let me go ahead and just run this. That was schedule optimization. I had the wrong one up there. This is knapsack optimization. Okay, I'm going to run this and you can see which ones it chose. The towel, hammer, and screwdriver. And then you can see the objective function. When we maximize, we just have to put a negative there to be able to report the maximum versus the minimum because most solvers convert a maximum to a minimum by just including a negative one there. Okay, so there's our objective. And you can see that, uh, you know, that would be the total value of what we have in our pack. And there you can see which ones it selected. You see it took three iterations to find that solution. Okay, so that's how you set it up and solve it with Python. And I'm going to just show you the course website as well. This is our engineering uh, design optimization for engineers course. And this is the knapsack problem. I'll include this link in the video description. But there's also many other topics here if you want to learn more about optimization and a book with some chapters on different optimization methods starting off with modeling concepts and unconstrained optimization. We'll talk about derivatives, discrete variable optimization, genetic and evolutionary optimization, constraints, robust design, but many other topics that you can see there on the right with example problems as well. So you have things like um, engineering problems. We learn optimization sometimes the best by working through example problems with realistic, simplified data and uh, problem equations. Okay, and then you can see the activities. The knapsack one is number 15 down here on the right with additional content there. I hope you enjoy this engineering optimization course 
and glad to get any feedback on the content or additional topics that you'd like to see covered.